everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we are going to be making some paper flowers. And I'm going to show you these two paper flowers. They're using the same technique and we're going to use also dyes. So you saw this flower last time, one of my last videos when we made this uh, recycled plastic bottle into a box. And some people were interested in how I made these flowers. So making flowers is one of the things I love doing in crafting because it's so easy and you can use your scraps for this and it's very simple and every time you're going to change one little thing even though you're using the same dies it's going to look different so one of this technique I'm going to use few dies here in the demonstration so I have used four of these dies there come they come together you can find these on Amazon on or uh, Aliexpress as well very cheap they're not expensive at all and i'm also going to use these um they come with more dies i think they come in with uh, 11 or 12 dies and also some little circles to do the centerpiece so i'm just going to use three of these and i have also a bigger one but i'm just going to use the one that is a little smaller and there's a tiny one that comes also with it but the three sizes in between are the sizes I'm going to use today and this is how I made this flower just using three dies stacking some of them uh, of the same size actually I used two by two I think two big ones one of the biggest one uh, one in the medium size and the smallest and this is the same one here and this is another one that I have done here, just changing a little bit the center of my flower using different techniques, but it's really simple. The only other things you will need for this is hot glue because it dries very quickly and also um, some beads here just to um, put in the center, but you can use any kind of embellishments for the center. I've used paper for the others. And what else do you need? Yes, a stylus, something like this. This one is really old, but it's working just as, like a charm with the two large um, balls here, one a little smaller than the other. Um, and I don't actually, yeah, I'm just gonna use it probably for the center of my flowers. Otherwise, we're just gonna use our fingers. So if I start with this flower, and again, every time you have different kinds of petals or dyes, it's gonna look different. And I've already pre-cut my paper, so I've, I've decided to use two different colors. You can use the same color, it's just fine. And we're going to stack them up. But before doing this, what I have done to make these flowers is I just decided, because if I just do this, you know, that's another possibility. You take your flowers and you just stack them up like this. Again, you can use the same, um, the same colors or change the colors. That's totally fine. I've got the biggest one down here. And if you want to make it even more fluffy, you can stack two of the same size and do this. It's nice, but it's flat. It's nothing unusual. But if you do just a little tiny thing, like taking your petals, and we're going to fold them. So what I like to do is just put my nail here in the center and fold the petals. And you do this on all the petals. It goes very quickly. No need to use anything special. You do this on all your petals and on all your flowers. I'm going to do the same one here. I'm going to take two different colors because as you can see, it's making my flowers kind of smaller on the sides here, the petals. So I'm going to have more space in between here. So this is why I decided that I'm going to do two layers of the same color and of the same size. And I'm going to put them like this. So it looks already more fluffy and I already have a lot of volume. Even though this part is, I'm keeping it flat. It already looks so different than this, just this plain flower. All right, then I'm going to take a smaller one and I'm going to start changing color. So I just decided to take a lightest color. You can go completely crazy on this. You could use white, you could use any other color. Orange would be nice because it's a complementary color. Um, it's an opposite side of the wheel, the color wheel. So what I'm going to do now is take a little bit of glue, put it there, 
And of course, I'm offsetting the petals. Center it, and that's good. Now I'm going to use this one. Always offsetting, and because it's a little smaller, I'm still going to see a lot of my purple because I love that color. I'm going to take another one. I could, that's totally up to you how many layers. That's not really important because it's still going to look absolutely gorgeous. But I think I'm going to put another layer. And again, offset this. Yes. And I've just used scraps. So easy. And it is so fluffy. Look at this. So dimensional. Now I'm going to take my last two smallest, pinch, and you see how fast this is going. Very simple. Dab of glue, offset the petals inside, and I'm pressing so it's making like a divot inside here, and the last one here. So you can stop this at this point, of course. I can put another one to make it again more fluffy, or what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put another one. So I'll have two layers of each which is a little different than what I have done here. I've put two layers of the biggest one, one layer only of the middle size and one layer of the smallest size. So you'll be able to compare and see which one you like best and depending on how much um, scraps you have, don't worry, you don't have to have always the same flower. Again, offsetting it. Oh, I love these. And even though I don't have any smaller one, this one is quite big, I'm going to take my big stylus here and I'm going to put this one in shape. And for the first one, I'm going to do this kind of shape. Like it's a button in the center, not completely closed, not completely open. And I'm curling the petals to go inside, inwards, if you prefer. So if you do this, I'm going to see the back side white of my paper. I can always turn it over and put the white in the center if I prefer. And I'm working with a uh, light cardstock. It's not a heavy one. Whatever you have, it will work just fine. All right, and now I'm going to do, I'm going to scrunch it, not really scrunch it, but I'm kind of folding it so it's making a little bud. So it's either up to you if you want to glue it shut or if you want to leave it just a little bit open. What I'm going to do first is try to make it curl it itself just a tiny bit more so it will stay better in place and in shape. And I'm really not taking my time. I'm doing this quite quickly to, just to show you that it's making, it's taking no time actually. All right, if you want to glue it shut, just put some hot glue in the center. I'm going to leave it, as I said, a little open. Hot glue here and this in the center of my flower. And look at this, how gorgeous. I mean, this flower was done in no time. I've used my scraps, so now my room a little is a little cleaner when I do a whole bunch of this. And you know what I do? I usually listen to music or I watch a TV show, more or less watch it, I, at least I listen to it, and I do all my flowers like this. So that one was very simple. If you want to do this one again, this one was made with a closed button and the shape is a little different. It's more like pointy on the top. If you can see the difference, I really like that. So again, it has another look to it. 
This one is way more open, which is nice. And now I'm going to show you the same technique with the flower that I've shown you before with these dots. So again, I'm going to take two different colors. And look at that, I still have more leftovers if I want to use them with other colors. I'm not going to throw these away. So I have a darker green and a lighter green here in two different papers. These have a hole in the center and I've used a brad to hold them in place but you can use hot glue of course. Um, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to fold these in the center. There are less petals so it's going to be even quicker to do. And I'm not measuring, I'm going very quickly because what is nice is that the, um, the looks it, held, it has at the end. If you're not that straight, you can use a paintbrush. So you know what, I'm going to take this away because I'm going to use hot glue and I don't want to put glue on this uh, foam sheet because it's going to ruin it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue around here, this hole. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. See, two layers. Already it's fluffy, it's nice. Same color. Now I might use for the smallest one uh, this color. This so sometimes it's going to be darker, sometimes it's going to be lighter. It's just fine. Again, you could use one color for this. So fun and easy to do. I mean, when you start, you can't really stop. It's so easy. And on cards, you could put this even a bigger one or two or three with different sizes. You could do one with just very small flowers, small petals, and do like this a whole bouquet on a card. That would be nice. Mm, let me see, might be, yeah. Which one am I gonna use? Actually, the smallest one is gonna be this one. I went a bit too crazy on that one. I've missed a size. Very lightweight paper. And the other one here. All right. And that way. And that way. That's nice. Another one. It's going to be this one. And again, I'm putting much more than on the other flowers that I've showed you before that I've used on my box. I'm going to put it this way. See how nice? And I open it a little bit. I don't want my petals to be totally shut. And this lightest one first. And I'm putting a lot of layers, but that's the way I want it to be right now. This one I'm not going to even offset it. I'm going to keep it in place just as is. Look at this. How oh, nice. How fluffy and dimensional. And I'm not going to use this one. Actually, I'm going to end up using this one. And I think I'm going to do kind of the same like I did with the other. Or maybe this direction. Yes. Yep. I like it. 
And I will probably be putting two of these. So sometimes, depending on the type of, of shapes you're using, a lot of paper stacked up might look nicer than others. And again, I am going to use some beads. Don't think I'm going to use green this time. I think I'm going to use an orange color. So I've got my beads here. Let me come a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I think I've offset this one a little bit. It's not really centered, but that's going to be fine. Okay, I'm putting all these beads there. A big blob, blob of glue in the center here. All right, and I'm going to sprinkle my beads. I'm going to press to make sure that they're going to stick very well into my glue. And all the excess is going to fall afterwards. So I'm pressing really well. Make sure not to burn yourself. Young people ask a nettle to help you with this. And a little bit of the glue seep through there, but that's okay. And that's good. It's not completely dry or cooled, but that's the way I like to make my centers. Holy cow, how nice is this? Did you see this? In no time, you made a very, very nice flower. Okay, there are a lot of layers. If you want less, there's only one, two, three, four on this one, and it's even flatter, but it's nice. It's the same technique, even though they look a little different. And I did offset it a little bit. But anyway, look at this. I don't know which one you prefer. It's maybe the question of color. Maybe you like the purple. Uh, it looks a little different, but the technique is absolutely the same. It just depends on the shape of your dyes. It's going to make the flowers look different, whether you use a technique with the flowers, you know, the petals going outside, outwards, or inwards, and just by folding them, it's making them so beautiful. You know this one? I would imagine these being yellow, like a sunflower, with the center a little brownish and darker color. It would be absolutely perfect for the season. So I wanted to give you some examples on how you can use your dyes, and maybe next time what I will do is using the exact same dyes, show you how you can make them look different, have different looks of flowers, but because I think it's important to take the most out of your stuff, whatever you have, dyes or punches, and use them as much as you can, different ways to feel better about, you know, you buying a lot of things. So I hope you liked this video, it was useful. You'll try to make these flowers because honestly, it didn't take a long time. You're using up your scraps and you're learning how to use your dies or your punches um, the best way you can and take the most out of it. So please, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And I also put at the end of the video, I suggest you a few videos if you want to take a look at them. Um, if you want to see videos about uh, paper crafts, about card making, about jewelry making or resin also, there are so many things that are happening on this, on this channel. And thank you very much for being here and taking some time with me. I really appreciate that. So if you have any comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to share on social medias and leave your comments. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.